Miss Child no longer has, as in this poster back here, the uh, the the uh, what you were what you were kind of known for was the uh, the hoop and the uh, and the chain. Not a very good thing to be known for. No, I guess not. Huh? How come? Well, it's not really what I do. I mean, I'm not a professional nose ring wearer. A professional nose ring wearer. I mean, she do you think she was in jeopardy of no, that, really? No, no. It was just something visual that people latched on because they didn't know who exactly this young white girl from Scarborough, Ontario was playing black music that she had fallen in love with on vacations in Florida with her parents. Now she's got Shaka Khan calling her. Prince loves her stuff. And she is an up-and-coming... She's already there. She's a star. She's symptoms of a first album um the classic what i hear is classic the neurosis of this is going to be a living testament of me to the world and if i get hit by a truck tomorrow this is what's going to remain of me and it's got to be perfect and i did what most first-time artists do i took it way too seriously First time you record a song after you've created it, they, it has something. Even if you're out of tune, even if it's not a perfect performance, it has a feeling that uh, it only has the very first time. When your record became a big hit internationally and accepted by black radio in America, how did you feel? It was acceptance from a group of people who influenced and shaped the music that I make so when black radio embraced what I had done and when I would hear from black artists who I respected that they liked my album it was uh, you know no critic could bother me after that you know you hear Prince likes your record you know no no critic can put you down and make you feel bad what are you listening to now what influences you I really love the Ramones bam, 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 bam. I still listen to old Led Zeppelin records. I really love Public Enemy. All the fellas in the street are willing to work it out. Rap is to the this generation what rock and roll was. You know, their parents hate it. Their parents absolutely cannot get with it. And there's a message and there's a different language that their parents can't understand. And uh I mean, rap is, I think the reason I love rap is because it's got the funk bottom. It's got that infectious sexual groove and bass line, and it's the uh, hypnotic repetition. It's just absolutely hypnotic. So I think that's why rap is so huge, because, you know, the kids want their own music. They don't want to listen to what their, what their parents are into, you know, the real way. I, I absolutely will, would not lip sync on any of these TV shows. You know, it kind of got me into trouble in England because I wouldn't do Top of the Pops. I, I refuse to get up there and shake my ass and lip sync. It's not what I'm about. So what so. did they do? What, what, what well, happened? I think my record could have done a lot better in England had I complied. But um, good or bad, I'm, I'm very principled about things like that. And um, I will not. I'll walk away first. So, it, you know, it only means something if you're being true to yourself.